I do not fully totally recall the conversation that, that uh, Mr. Hoffman and I had in April, uh, but I'm sure that my response would have been that you know uh, our code is not clear in regard to poultry, um, and told him that you know that I don't go out looking for chickens. Trust me, I don't go looking for chickens. But if there's a complaint, I will have to address it. And I think uh, even when I went to his house that day, you know, I, I reminded him that there was a complaint. Um, Complaint came to the office, a, a neighbor called, um, as Mr. Hoffman said, she, uh, she did not identify herself, um, complained that there was a resident that had a truckload of chickens and a rooster. Um, I went over that afternoon to um, see this truckload of chickens, drove by and saw chickens in the backyard and a rooster. I did not count them. Um, and clearly put a truckload of chickens. Um, addressed Mr. Hoffman and shared with him that, that I needed to enforce the code. We had some discussion about the definition of livestock. Uh, I told him that we do not define livestock by our own code, and so and I basically refer back to and in practice have used the definition that comes out of the ORC uh, because of the power. At that point, um, I told asked him if he was going to get rid of the chickens. He said he was did not want to, I told him I would have to give him an official a notice of violation. He would receive that in the mail, and then at that point, uh, he could then appeal my decision, which our code requires that any time I issue a notice of violation, I have to advise um, the resident that they can appeal my decisions. Uh, he received the, uh, the notice, uh, and then uh, a few days later, he applied for uh, an appeal. Again, we responded on a, on a complaint, uh, basically, the neighbors said that there was uh, a rooster and chickens. Um, I, I, I don't recall completely if the, if the um, complainant really was complaining about the noise as much as the fact that they were there uh, and, and felt like that our code did not allow them. So at that point, as I do other Animal issues, I refer to 1272.12, which just says agricultural livestock shall not be permitted uh, on anything less than three acres. And again, going falling back on the ORC's definition of livestock. Um, and so basically, that's where we are. Uh, we responded to a complaint. Um, and uh, in all animal issues, um, and, and in most issues, you know, we, we respond to complaints and have to address those as they come in. Not <coughs> give us permission to have chickens, and we, we consider chickens as livestock and we base them on the horse. Questions from the board? Chickens, do you have at the present time? Eight. And looking at this definition, uh, I took the time before coming up here to do a little research. Uh, and the research that I did. Various encyclopedias. Uh, the term livestock uh, does have a definition, but it's a very nebulous definition. Uh, if you're in Texas and you mention livestock, I'll guarantee you you're talking about cows. <laughs> uh, so it, it is a term that's used. <coughs> Six months, I was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
question becomes whether or not we need, we want to um, <coughs> rather than feel on your decision. Okay. Uh, there was a couple of other people that stood that we should testify on. You stand up with your name and address. Yes. yes, sir. My name is Mark Crary. That's C R A R Y. Uh, this gentleman was my neighbor. I, uh, we don't neighbor a lot, but I got to know him. I knew he served our country. And I see his chickens every day and uh, never hear a peep out of them, never smell anything. I just see the chickens. And I think, well, that's pretty cool. There's chickens in the neighborhood. Number two, I think it's kind of odd. And I'm not being harsh about this. I've got a neighbor that has four cars in his front yard, has two commercial vehicles, a trailer. I have identified myself numerous times to have something done about it. An anonymous call comes in, and 35 people show up on Monday night to talk about chickens. And we have to think, so I need to make an anonymous call to get the cars out of my neighbor's front yard that we all got a letter in the mail about last month with our water bill saying, you can only have so many cars in your front yard. And I've called this call numerous times. But yet here we talk about chickens. I mean, we, we got 35 people here tonight. And all we have to do in this world with all that's going on to be concerned about this man that served our country trying to provide quality food for his family. And we're here Monday night, March 12th, talking about chickens. I can't help but think we've got something better to do. And I can't help but think while I'm driving around the neighborhood seeing chickens, or if I had the job to see chickens, I would see the four cars in the front yard that Mr. and Mrs. Mark Prairie did call in and said who it was versus somebody. I don't think a complaint's a complaint if the person won't acknowledge who they are. I mean, you could drive by and say, I'm aggravated at so-and-so, so I'm just going to anonymously call to aggravate him. People should have to identify themselves when they make a complaint like that. And I guess the secret I have learned when I call about the cars again, like I have numerous times, <coughs> I like your chickens, dude, hanging out.